in this video we are going to discuss about latches so latch is an essential component for the construction of uh, edge trigger register it is a level sensitive circuit which will pass uh, d input to q output when the clock signal is high so here i have drawn a multiplexer based latch so here the d will pass to q if the clock signal is high otherwise it will remain in the same state so this is called as positive latch so i can draw using a d flip flop so this is nothing but a d flip flop only so d q and clock so this is your input and this is your output and uh, let me draw the timing diagram for positive latch so this is your clock and this is your input so so this is suppose this is your input and you can see for the positive side positive latch so during this time so this is your positive latch you are getting the same output okay that is uh, the same as the input the output is same as and after that uh, it will remain in the same state so here it will uh, during the state this will uh, be same as the input okay so uh, this is unknown state okay so this is your output so during this positive latches input follows the output and during this uh, negative that is zero uh, it is unknown or it will remain in the same state okay so if the input follows the output input follows the output means it is called as transparent this condition is true when clock is equal to 1 so that is why it is called as positive latch so when clock is 0 it is opaque okay that is input doesn't follow the output so this is for the positive latch for the negative latch during this state okay during this clock time the input follows the output that is input is transparent when clock is equal to 0 when clock is equal to 1 it is opaque okay so for negative latches
uh, let me draw only the multiplexer based one the clock is uh, 0 d is equal to q otherwise it will remain on the same state so this is nothing but a negative large latch uh, uh, designed using a mux now let me design a h trigger register h trigger register so suppose if i can uh, combine this uh, negative d latch and the output of this one is given to the So this is nothing but a negative latch and this is a positive latch okay so here only we are taking the output and uh, this will work when uh, clock is zero okay when clock is zero the d will pass to qm and when clock is one the qm value is uh, passed to q so this uh, clock is inversion to that of this one right so how this will work as a positive trigger means positive edge trigger means so this is a nothing but a positive edge trigger so when the clock is this is a negative latch and this is a positive latch okay so we have cascaded this negative latch with a positive latch so during this time okay uh, so during this time the input value that is during this time since we have combined the negative and positive latch during this time this is nothing but positive edge trigger the input follows the output input follows the output so that is why it is called as positive h trigger in similar way if i connect uh, if i connect uh, first uh, uh, positive latch followed by negative latch I'll get negative H trigger negative H trigger register I can uh, draw the positive latch using a transmission gate. So, positive latch. So, uh, when clock is 1, D is Q is equal to D, and uh, when clock is 0, the same state will present, right? So, I can draw it using a, a transmission gate. So, this is a, a transmission gate. So, 
so if clock is given to the one input and, and clock bar is given to the another input so here so when clock is one when clock is one this transmission gate one t1 turns on and t2 turns off so if that is the case d bar i am receiving at the at this point and q becomes d when clock is zero when clock is zero t1 turns off because uh, uh, for um, t1 uh, clock value is zero so this will uh, nmos get turned off and pmos also turned off and t2 turns on so whatever the value that we are having here will goes to this and inversion value will get it here so the q value is same as the previous value okay so the q of t plus 1 is equal to q so next uh, i can draw it uh, seeing a um, nmos also on the same diagram i can draw it using nmos so instead of transmission gate i can use either when clock is one um, nmos get turned on so uh, d becomes d bar here and d value i am getting at the q okay so if if it turns off if clock is equal to zero n mos turn off therefore uh, the q value so i am given to this transistor will turn on and the q value or rotate here okay so i'll get here i'm getting uh, q bar value okay so the what is the drawback of using this pass transistor is uh, if suppose uh, d value is vdd uh, you are getting the output as vdd minus vt so it is uh, degraded of uh, high voltage uh, value so that is a uh, uh, main drawback uh, and this will impact the uh, noise margin and switching performance especially in case of uh, low values uh, vdd and high values vdd and this also causes a uh, uh, static power dissipation as because uh, the maximum input voltage to the inverter equals to uh, vdd minus vtn and uh, the pmos device of the uh, inverters never fully turned off so uh, that's all about the latches